Terms will vary by lender and are subject to change. Attention all homeowners stuck in high interest rate mortgages. Are you finding it harder and harder to keep up with your monthly mortgage payments? Homeowners can now apply for FHA 30-year fixed rates around 4.875%. By refinancing now, you can consolidate debt, lower your mortgage payment, or get cash. Again, qualified applicants can now refinance their current high interest rate mortgage to a fixed rate around 4.875%. You could save hundreds of dollars a month. Homeowners may now call to find out about these low fixed rates. Call 1-877-410-3783. These rates may only be available for a limited time, so act now. To take advantage of these historically low rates, call 1-877-410-3783. For free information, call 1-877-410-3783. 1-877-410-3783. It's great after being up late. Walking my baby back home. Arm and arm. Welcome back here to the PM Show Week in Edition on CRN Digital Talk Radio. I'm Michael Horn. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Robert Conrad and our guest, Vicki Lawrence, is with us on the line. Welcome back, Vicki. Hey, Vicki, thanks for sticking with us for a segment. My pleasure. Now, the, we, I want to get to this singing thing because I think you and Robert Conrad share this thing. A lot of people don't think of Robert Conrad, even though he had uh, all these incredible records and they were up in the top ten as a singer, and he is an incredible singer, as you are too. So how did the whole singing thing get into play, not taken away from your show? Oh, well, I, I, as I said, I was married to that guy that wrote the song. Very briefly. Bobby Russell. Did he do Watching Scotty Grow? Is that one of the songs he wrote also? No, that was Bobby Goldsboro. Oh, Goldsboro. Okay, yeah. He wrote, um, Bobby Russell wrote Little Green Apples. Little Green Apples, that's what I was thinking. He wrote Honey. And Honey, oh yeah. Or Bobby Goldsboro. That's the one that I can't stand, that Honey song. Just i got to turn the radio off. Not that it's a bad song. I just, you know, there's death in it and I can't take it. do I care? I want to hear Vicky talk. Okay, so he wrote Georgia. Okay, so, yeah. Which was a really good song. That's a good one. And he didn't like it. And he didn't like it, and neither did. did Someone told me, like, uh, Cher was supposed to do it, but Sonny Bono said no, he didn't want to do it. turned it down. They tried to give that song to everybody, and I kept saying it's a hit, it's a hit. So finally his producer said, well, let's just take Vicky in the studio and do it with her. And so that was the smash hit. Yeah. And, and you turned heads. I don't know, Bob, did that happen to you when these people said, hey, this guy can sing? Because everybody knew you as being a comedian or an actress. You as an actor, Bob, uh, to me, that's a, for the audience out there. That was a major thing to hear you guys sing. Well, I think, you know, back when I had a hit, you didn't really uh, cross-pollinate uh, like the performers do now. Now it's cool to do TV, movies, records, all of that. Back when I was doing it, it was sort of like, you were in a niche, and that was your niche. You didn't really cross the boundaries so much. Right. So I don't know that people ever really figured out that I was the singer, <laughs> or you, vice versa. I was a And t- then, yeah. you know, the, the record became a huge hit. It was the ultimate demise of an already doomed marriage, and I just did, really didn't want to sing anymore. I'm just like, get me back to the comedy, please, because this is not funny. I'm just guessing you became more popular than that guy because that song was a smash. And I remember at KFI Radio, the guys on the air were always asked Vicki Lawrence from, you know, the te- television, the Vicki Lawrence, because people weren't connecting that together. No, they couldn't connect that. Yeah, yeah. did that, that happen to you, Bob, when you had your stuff out, your uh, album out? That was, uh, first of all, my, my success in singing was in Latin America. I, I outpulled the Beatles. Here, though. No, I, Don when, Graham, the record promoter, said wait, that he had can top I, ten can hits. Can I talk about yes, me? Thank please you. talk about yourself. Yes, I love to hear you well, talk about that. My success was in Latin America. I outpulled the Beatles in 1964. And in the U.S., I had a couple of hits, but they were doing music I didn't particularly want to do at Warner Brothers and uh, the Everly Brothers were smashed and Elvis was and um, I sang jazz and so I was more focused on my acting than I was my singing but I, all the theater I've done has all been singing fantastics Carnival. See, that's another thing people don't know about. That's it. It's not about me. It's about Vicky. It's I want to hear about her because I'm a fan. <laughs> Enough about me. I have another How'd question you like for that? you, Go Bob. Ahead. It's okay. No, I'm inside the, I, the beautiful Vicky Lawrence. I won't let happily then, married. But the thing about Vicky, we, about You're a makeup you, artist. Yeah, but um, the thing about you, Vicky, is then it, it launched a pretty good singing career because then I remember there was that hit Ships in the Night and there was a, was there a He, he Did With Me or something? Oh, or? but yeah, not really here in the States. No? I mean, Ships in the Night was huge in Australia, but. 
Well, we played it at KFI. You can thank Rudy Majeri for that. Really? Was, we played a lot of it. It was, oh, and there okay. were crossover stations and pop stations, and you were getting play on both. All right. All right, I'm just trying to tell you, it was bigger than you think. Okay. You guys are being very shy about this whole thing. <laughs> now, I've got your schedule here of uh, when you're going to be performing, and uh, it looks like you are going back out in July. Is that correct? Yes, we're sort of on vacation now. It's very nice. You're going to be in Alpine, California, Biloxi, Mississippi. You're going to be in uh, uh, Fort Worth. You're going to be playing coming up. That's uh, in July and August. I'm looking to see... Hartford, uh, Wisconsin, you're going to be there. Green Bay also. Branson, Missouri. Now, that should be pretty huge, I would think, in October, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Have you, hey, let me interrupt for just yeah, for a second. Please. You can go sure, down sure. with the rest of your career. But uh, have, you, have you done Branson already? We did it for the first time about a month ago. Gosh, is it as exciting as I would imagine? Cause it was fantastic. I was really highly surprised. Yeah, because they're super fans. That I Branson was very fan. much surprised because it's... Um, I don't know. I just was expecting it to be a little more um, rural. They're sort of bringing it to Branson. It's really, it was great. I was, who else was there when you were there, Vicki? You know, all the people that have always been there. And I think, um, they were, I, you know, who's there? I don't it's know. It's become a little more pop. It was a lot of country there for a while, it, but I think it's, it's gone still, more pop. It huh. still is a lot of country, but I, and I think Mama is a, like a natural fit for Branson, so I don't know why it took us so long to get there, but I, it was very well received, and I really look forward to going back in October, which should be more of the peak of their season. Now here's the the really big deal, because we got to make Bob Conrad's going to, he promised you he's going to go see the show November 1st. Was that here? At Los Angeles Convention Center, big show in Los Angeles for okay. Vicki Lawrence. Her show. Oh, that's a, I think that's a big benefit, actually. Yeah, coming up at the Los Angeles mm-hmm. Convention Center. All right, well, right, you know, we'll put it on the calendar, but tell you, the, 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 Lonnie a, Anderson... Uh, appeared uh, last week or yeah, yeah. last week and and uh, she put on the Marilyn Monroe dress and we had her as a guest and she was terrific and we told her we'd come and see her and we did and it was great and we will uh, come and see you and we will also put it on the calendar that you're appearing there and we will publicize it because uh, we have a few listeners that would we'll uh, keep this yeah yes okay yeah, and in November also for those of you that like this kind of the star thing in Las Vegas she's going to be at the South Point Resort and Casino November 12th through the 14th so that'll be good and in Laughlin if you like that the river Riverside Resort and Casino. And here's one more for you, Bob Conrad. Yeah. Thousand Oaks, California, on December 4th at the Civic Arts Plaza. Okay, scratch. Oh, boy, scratch. scratch. You're going there. Uh, aren't yes, you? I'm <laughs> going there. I'm going there. I will see you there. Give me that date again. All right, let me. <laughs> Yeah. You're going to be packed in the end of the year here, December 4th at the okay. Civic Arts Plaza. Wow. Okay, yeah, we'll publicize that sucker. The reason he's doing that is because I live uh, in that area. Okay. And I, you know, I'm going to go definitely see you. And uh, we used to live in that area. You used to? We used to live oh, yeah, in that area. No. You right. guys kind of move around a lot, you and Al, don't you? Not, you no, not anymore. We came to Long Beach and stayed. We've been here for almost 30 years. Uh, 30? Wow. What? That long? Huh? Almost. Well, 27, about 20, 25, maybe. All right. Well, you're, yeah. you're, you're, you're a wonderful uh, you're delightful. We love you. guest, and thanks for doing our show. And I'm, I'm serious. I will definitely see you in okay. Thousand Oaks. And I'm uh, kind of nice looking with blonde, uh, with uh, gray hair and uh, not too many wrinkles. You'll be the guy in the blue suit with the six gun. And uh, by the way, VickiLawrence.com is the website for all of you around the country. And we'll also post this on our website at CRNTalk.com. Vicki, thanks for being with us. Thank thanks, you for Vicky. having me. Hey, thanks so much, sweetheart. Uh-huh. We mean that. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. And Bye-bye. Tomas, will you play Ships in the Night when we come back and you can dig that one out because I do like that song. Straight ahead, we continue. CRN, I like Vicki Lawrence. She's great. Yeah, she's great. Stay she's, with us. You know what I like about her? She's real. Come to quality. Come to luxury. Relax at the Fountain Grove Inn Hotel and